Hey everyone, uh, thank you for coming to Third Eye Salon once again. And today uh, I'm actually hanging out in real time with Kelly Rainbow Butterfly. And we are at Kettle uh, Falls Campground at the Sasquatch Family Reunion. And Miss Kelly is doing me the honor of holding, holding the phone for me uh, while I, I do the intro, but I'm gonna hold the phone back and we're gonna talk to Miss Kelly about her time and what's going on here. Um, so thank you, Miss Kelly. Thank uh, you. How are you doing? I'm wonderful. Um, I just wanted to check in and see how the experience has been for you. You live in Kettle Falls, so this is your backyard in a lot of ways. And what's it been like for you in terms of um, hosting this and seeing the people come through? How's that been for you? It is absolutely amazing. I, I love to see this spa space actually now filled with all these people because um, during the planning of, of an event or anything like that, I spend a lot of time here. I actually live in Colville, about 30 minutes from here, so it's not far. Um, but I do visit this area often when the weather's nice, at least once a week. And I just kind of hold space here um, and envision what I want to see and what I want to see us all co-create. So um, I'll come here. Um, I've built a few medicine wheels here. I've done a few ceremonies and things like that just you know private little sacred ceremonies that i do um and commune with the sasquatch and things and this is where i'll get um a lot of my ideas for how to format things you know like uh, over there the space station and over here the sasquatch circle and and the utopia section and so i come here and i get all that inspiration um but it's i envision people laughing and having a wonderful time and hugging and um and learning and healing and all of that and now to see it happening and it's even more people than i expected so that's really exciting and this weather the, oh my gosh it's just so beautiful couldn't be any more perfect than this moment of now oh that's awesome yeah the weather's been uh we had a couple of like half rainy days but <laughs> they were kind of fun because it made you all huddle together then you huddled together and you found new people to talk to and all of a sudden you started a conversation because the rain kind of forced you into a, a moment which was so i thought that was i've been loving the the contrast but today's been so sunny and radiant it's just been glorious mm -hmm, it has well i wanted to ask you um in terms of where we're at are, are people still going to be able to sense Sasquatch or have Sasquatch experiences since we actually are in a, um, we're not like, we're not way out there, right? Like we actually have running water. We even have Wi-Fi. Like it's kind of luxurious in a way for camping. It's almost glamping because it's so, and we're next to beautiful Kettle Falls. So what, oh, I lost my track on my question. How are people going to connect with Sasquatch? Yeah, yeah, or? yeah. How are they going to... I started thinking about how cute Kettle Falls is. <laughs> um, but, um, like, what are people... How are they going to be able to encounter him when there's... Or them uh, that are star family Sasquatch um, when there's so many other humans around here? Well, the way to really connect with the Sasquatch and with other beings, spirit guides you know, anything like that of a, of a different nature is really through the heart space. And so it doesn't matter where you're at. Um, certainly being in nature helps, you know, we have our feet on the earth and we're walking amongst the trees, um, you know, so that's wonderful. And this is in general out in the forest or amongst the trees is where the Sasquatch live. Um, and so they are abundant here. You can feel their energy, but more so the experiences that people are going to have here are going to be felt through the heart center mm. and what we're creating when we are doing mm. workshops like this when we're all laughing and participating and um when we are opening ourselves a lot of the workshops the one that i just came from every single person cried oh and it was beautiful we were it was called be be do have because um the way that our experience usually is is that you have to do um to and to have do have be is yes more, is yes. more what we're conditioned to believe so it's actually be do have mm -hmm. uh and so it was a really mm -hmm. personal wonderful workshop but that's just an example of how people are really opening up to um themselves confronting you know these vulnerable areas and that's where we have to go to really 
connect with the Sasquatch. Um, and not necessarily all the time, but that's when it's easiest. And so even if you don't have a physical sighting of them here, and it's very likely, so, I mean, many people already have. Um, they're they also, have here? Oh, oh yeah, and they're appearing in the trees. There's people walking around showing off their all their camera pictures. Look what I just took a picture Who of. Who are these people? I need to get them over into the salon and um, okay, give them good I'm, talking I'm to. I'm trying to think of who. Well, we'll talk about it okay. after this. Yeah. Um, but anyhow, maybe Deborah Matthews might be one. Oh, Deb. Yeah. Yep. Also known as Deb. Yes. And, uh, so anyway, it's, it, it's connecting through the heart space, but also they'll, um, as we're healing and as we're learning, there's all kinds of activations. There's a lot of energetic activations going on. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, the chinos that do the sound bath and everything, there's a series of different codes to help open us up. But yeah. all of that's going to allow us to have a deeper experience or to, to have more opportunities to connect yeah so um it's and then a lot of people while they're here have dreams too i can't tell uh, you how many people approach me and say oh my god i just i had this dream or i had this experience where i felt them or heard them so there's different ways of connecting to get your to get your validation but the best connection is is right here it's felt here yeah i've heard that also from our dear barbara, barbara jean Lindsay. hello barbara we Hi, love barbara. the frick out of you and um we are we called your energy in before we started this conversation bt dubs so we love you and we know that you're here with us um oh my goodness i did it to myself again where the heck was i going with that Swear. barbara jean barbara jean love barbara jean talking about you oh the heart of sasquatch oh yeah that it is um thank god there's two of us here <laughs> someone has to keep me on the road um, Linda's not here to keep me on track, um, <laughs> but we're we're understanding that to connect with them is to open your heart, and so I do. I would say that my experience being here has been all heart. Like people are so loving, they're so kind, they're so willing to help, they're so willing to pitch in. Um, you hardly hear a, a, a bad word in terms of like somebody putting somebody down or you know what I mean like conflict or just drama like it's just so there's thin here that. yeah it's just so there's definitely an intention to live and let live and celebrate has been my experience and people are just very kosher it's like if you're not into the conversation you just kind of don't talk about it and you walk away you know there's no like confrontation and trying to like prove somebody who's right that bullshit right so <laughs> Um, yeah, it's just, uh, it's very harmonious here. Mm -hmm. Part of the reason, we call it a Sasquatch family reunion. Everybody seems to resonate so well with everybody else and you, we just feel like family. Um, and yeah. everybody in the, this this workshop I just went to, for example, when we connect, you, you stare at each other in silence for a minute or two. Mm -hmm. And it's just, you know, really powerful, but... Um, the feedback that you hear consistently is I felt the soul connection. I know we're family. I know we've spent lifetimes together. Oh, wow. And uh, everybody here seems to feel that. That's good for me to hear. Um, that's good. That's good inspiration as I have yet to attend a single thing. <laughs> um, but I've been attending to uh, enjoying myself. <laughs> mm -hmm. But maybe that soul connection is the big piece and uh, Maybe that's the medicine that we're, you know, people are drawn. Maybe that's the undercurrent. It's people are drawn here for this heart reunion because it's a Sasquatch family reunion, but it's also a reunion with yourself, wouldn't you say? It is, definitely. It's um, returning to self. Yes. Yeah. It very much feels like that. It's like you, you get permission. It's safe to be yourself here. You know what I mean? Yes. And like, so for me, like that in itself is a gift and anything Sasquatch for me is a bit, um, I, I'm not, I'm not invested into it. Like I, I'm open for it. Like it would be amazing, but I don't need to have it in order to have a good time here because I'm enjoying being here. The being here is for me the big pleasure point and yes. being able to connect with all of these wonderful hearts and make new connections that I know are going to, you know, expand and, and grow into something mm -hmm. you know so yes indeed um, and that's what i feel year after year it's like that you know we have <clears throat> some people that uh there's a few that have been here every single year 
Um, there's a, a few here this year that haven't been here in three or four years. So it's almost like a new experience for them oh. and they can see the, the growth in that. But also this year, it's like, I think almost 70% of the people are new. So wow. it's, it's incredible. So yeah. imagine once travel bans are lifted, what that size will go to because before I know that you had like people from Australia and you had people from you know other places in the world that would Lots show up. from Canada especially because it's just oh across the border yeah we're literally like 42 miles away from Canada mm -hmm. it's really close yeah so so the crowd has gotten smaller especially just because of travel restrictions and you know just circumstances surrounding the the pandemic and things like that um, but still everybody that needs to be here is here um, and everybody that's a part of this family is always a part of this family, whether they're present or not. They're they're here in spirit. Mm, right, just like our Barbara Jean mm -hmm. and Sue Walker as well, yes. who and Otter. Um, so, what's that? I said we missed them. I know. I was just. It was like <laughs> one bullet was Susan or was Sue wasn't coming. The other bullet was <laughs> like Barbara Jean. <laughs> but you, you're here, so it was like okay. At least I have I have my. My Kelly, so yeah. we'll be good. <laughs> um, and it's just been such a delight getting to know you and getting to just like love on you and just experience the purity of your intention and the um, creativity and warmth and connection of your heart. You're you're a huge connector, mm -hmm. so I just want to say I guess I can, we can close it up by saying thank you for showing up and just refusing not to shine. Like you know, like I'm going to shine. You're not going to take away my colors. And your colors are, I feel like, indicative of what connects us all, you know, this big rainbow. So, yes, all right, before I, before I burst into song, um, all right, thanks everyone. We love you, and we'll see you later. Bye.